Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making kung namur pup. It's a bean sprout rice. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. There really isn't much to this and you can actually make this in the rice cooker, but since not everyone owns one of those, we're going to go with this right here on the stove top. So let's get started with the bean sprouts. All you need is a bag of these bean sprouts. You can usually find them in the smaller bag size in your Asian market, so it's no big deal in finding them. You can actually find them in American markets as well. So we need to clean these out first. So just throw it into your little bowl and then we're going to put some water in there and we're going to let all the yucky stuff float up just like this. You can see it'll be easier to take these out because you don't want any of the, what do you call it, the skin off the beans like this, any of the brown color, anything that's going to be discolored basically. You can cut off any of the tail ends if you'd like to, if you don't like the stringy part of it. You can actually buy some of those in the markets as well without the tail end on there. And most of these I think are pretty clean from that. So it's just easier I think in the long run, but you can eat it both ways. It doesn't matter. But we're just going to just move it around a little bit and clean it up and we're going to go rinse it a couple of times just to make sure we get everything that we can out of it so that it has a nice coloring to it instead of having finding like little brown spots somewhere. Next we move on to our kimchi. We are going to be using the kimchi and rinsing it out a few times to get most of the red color out because we want it to be a nice light color. Probably took me about three or four rinses to get most of the red out of it. You might see a red pepper here or there, but that's not going to affect it too much. And all we need to do is just chop these up into bite-sized pieces, like tiny little pieces, because we just want to get a little bit of flavor of the kimchi each time we take up a scoop full of rice with all of that. Next, get your chicken and go ahead and cut these up also into tiny bite-sized pieces as well. Make sure you're using chicken like this, the ones where you freeze them and then you can just defrost them and cut them up, not like a rotisserie chicken or anything of that kind. All we have to do now is grab our rice. I did say two cups of rice and two cups of water divided. Divided meaning we're going to save a little bit of this so we can get every speck of rice out of the bowl afterwards. And make sure you give this a good rinse until it's not so cloudy anymore. Now let's start cooking. Now heat up your pot and grab your cooking oil. I am using a veggie oil in mine and I'm going to throw my chicken in there and make sure that it's cooked mostly through before we move on to our next ingredient. And I say mostly through because again, this can get cooked through while we do everything else as well. So it doesn't have to be thoroughly cooked through. Does that make sense? You guys will see as you continue watching the video. Now, like I said before, you can do this in the rice cooker as well. Personally, I would cook some of this chicken through before I would throw it into the rice cooker just because, I don't know, I just, that's just my personal thing, but you don't have to. I would probably try to make sure at least halfway, half of it is cooked through. Next, add your white kimchi in there, your rinsed kimchi actually, and just mix all of that up together. Now all you have to do is grab your bowl of rice that we had already cleaned and throw that into the pot with about one and a half cups of water or so. And then I said divided because I want you to take the rest of that water to get the rest of the little pieces of rice that's, it, that's still in your bowl so we don't waste any of that. Now I'm just going to give everything a good mix while I let the water drip in with the rest of the rice and scrape everything out. And then the last piece to all of this, the whole reason why this is called what it's called, we need to add our bean sprouts right on top. And this is your one pot meal right here that's cooking while we make our paste. And this is going to go by really fast. All right, so we're going to put our lid on and let's get to our paste. All right, I have my bean paste in here first and I'm gonna add my red pepper paste. If you want to make it a little bit more spicy, go ahead and add a little bit more or just add some red pepper flakes on top of that as well. Then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients along moving on with our green onion here. I'm gonna chop this up into super tiny, finely minced pieces and you're gonna see this in the video and I'm gonna stop talking so you can see how small I'm chopping these up to. See what I mean? When you think you're done, you're not done chopping. Now let's add our garlic right on top of this. Just mince yours up. That's all you need to do if you don't have it like mine and add a little bit of sugar on top. I am using Splenda like always. And then your sesame seed oil. And let's not forget our sesame seeds. And here's my little sous chef here to help mix things up. I mean, her hands at least, you guys can see her hands. She just likes to be a part of these videos. 
and I'm speeding up that process for you guys so it's not too painful to watch her mixing. She really likes to be a part of this. Can you guys tell? She's the one that shows up in most of these videos. <laughs> and this is how it looks when it's all done. We should have everything cooking in about 20 minutes time and it should be done. Just give it a good stir and you'll see that your chicken is already pretty much done because we'd already cooked it in advance and all we're doing is waiting for the rice to soften. And once it's done, this is how everything should look. And this is how we're going to eat it. All you need to do, if you don't know if you're going to like how much paste you want in there, just add a little dollop of it first. Mix it around with your rice and taste it. If you like it or if you think it needs more flavoring, go ahead and add more to it as needed. It just goes by taste. And that little plate right there, there's a lot more than that left in our bigger bowl that we just made. So this is just for serving side dish for anybody that wants to eat a little bit more or less. That's really up to them. This is a really simple meal that you can make, again, in your rice cooker on top of the stove and just eat this anytime. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, maybe late night snack, whatever works for you. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.